He is one of the most powerful men in South Korea, and like many tycoons that have come before him, Lee Jae-young has received pardon from a South Korean president. Responding to the move, Lee, who had been convicted of corruption last year, vowed he would make the pardon worth the country's while. I will work hard for the national economy. Lee has been granted pardon for the last sentence that was handed to him in January 2021. He was supposed to serve two and a half years in prison, but was released on parole in August later that year. The bribery and embezzlement scandal toppled former President Park Geun-hye in 2017. Lee Jae-young, who can now fully take the reins of Samsung once again, isn't the only one to have been granted clemency. Three other corporate giants were also pardoned Friday, including the president of the Lok Group. Seoul says the move is in South Korea's economic interest. With an urgent need to overcome the national economic crisis, we carefully selected economy leaders to be pardoned because they can drive growth through technology investment and job creation. By giving them a chance to take part in this development, once again, we aim to maximize our efforts to overcome the economic crisis. The pardons have once again sparked debate over South Korea's preferential treatment for business elites and the political class. Former President Park Geun-hye was also pardoned in December last year.